Chug again with another ROM review, and uh, this time I've got the Nameless ROM version 2.0. So, yeah, this is in the alpha phase, and it just released a new uh, version. Well, yeah, uh, just released is a strong word. Uh, I'm a bit late for this, but yeah, uh, it was released on 24th, uh, just before Christmas. So, this is probably a Christmas present for many. So yeah, let's get into the ROM now. First of all, uh, there are a lot of bug fixes on this ROM. Um, it has this is the first ROM with the with perfectly working HW Composer, which means your videos will work on the fly. So you can use the HW Composer, uh, Composer which is available in MX Player. So that is pretty neat. Let's go to the settings now. First of all, in the About Phone page, you can see you can have information about your GPU and all. First things first, it is nameless ROM version uh, 2.0. It doesn't say 2.0, but it is 5.0.2, uh, 24, 12, 14. So that is the version right now. So that is the latest one. It works out pretty awesome. Um, what is it? Okay, it is Android uh, 5.2, so it is going to work out. So yeah, there is a glitch there, I guess. Um, you can play Flappy Droid, whatever you want. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I died. Uh, what? Okay, this ROM is not for those tinkerers out there who like something like the uh, Liquid Smooth or Resurrection Remix even. It's uh, not laden with features, but this is a really stable ROM. I haven't had any reboots. I haven't had any FCs right now. Even, even Not even the clock FC which are available in all the other most of the other lollipop roms and this is not based on uh, cyanogen mod so that is why it has different uh, it has a different structure it is a for different fork of android therefore the bugs which are in cm are not there in this rom so that is something really cool uh, let's get into settings and show you guys what are the extra settings now you can see the battery is right now 60% uh, just keep that in mind i would like to show you how the battery life is uh, status bar options you do have a few options here you have brightness control if you don't have automatic brightness you can yeah you can uh, change brightness by sliding but yeah you can have that uh, you do have weather notification notification count quick pull down on the right edge so yeah uh, battery status icon portrait landscape whatever you need text hidden whatever you can also show text percentage but these are settings which are always available in other ROMs uh, well not strictly AOSP but other CM ROMs all do have this now in the gestures you do have double tap to sleep which is a really good feature if you don't want to use the uh, lock, lock button so yeah it does work out pretty cool uh, buttons you do have this option you can change uh, if you want to wake up this wake up the device using the home button you can answer the call with home button uh, you can change everything, you can make the device using uh, volume buttons, playback by long pressing the uh, volume keys, that is something really useful. You can have that too, that's really cool. Uh, what else do we have now? Uh, navigation bar setting, you can actually enable navigation bar. This does require a reboot, but after you reboot, you will get navigation bar. I'll show you guys the navigation bar once I reboot, to show you guys the boot animation. So yeah, that is there. Pretty awesome, you, you can have that. In the display options, you have all of these. You have font sizes, which is probably my favorite one because I like to keep everything small and uh, cozy in my screen. So I have more screen real estate. So you can have that. Pretty cool. You do have that option. Sound notification. Every Lollipop version has that. Uh, it has tons of features and it really does work out pretty neatly. The notification setting you have uh, interruptions, high priority mode, etc. etc. You have a lot of options. Even notification light, you can select that. You can change the colors, uh, you can um, change the normal to whatever color you want. It's it's really really customizable. Um, so, yeah, you do have that options. Uh, what else do we have now in this battery settings? You do have battery. Uh, you can change you can see how much time it has it shows one day which is probably not okay now let's get back to battery life battery life for this rom is probably just average okay i would say it is average nothing to be nothing to be amazed of uh average lollipop which we are getting with other roms but the thing is uh this is a really good standby time because 
it doesn't really drain whenever when you uh, don't use the phone so that is something which I uh, think is a step in the right direction because with the other lollipop runs I had a huge drain issue uh, even when the phone was in standby so this one does fix on that but yeah it does need to do a few stuff like that so we are waiting for that so we do have that option too what else do we have now so yeah that is it in the settings menu let's go to the other uh, options now it does have device control which is an imperable thing it is really really useful it, it works out wonders for your phone uh, it gives you all the information at a glance you can see features uh, you can include LCD power reduce which will kind of uh, reduce the power usage which is really cool you, you do have GPU settings CPU settings you can change stuff, but uh, you can change the governors. You can, you well, you can change the maximum CPU to have more power, maybe for 1,000 uh, milliamps, uh, me megahertz, so that you can uh, save on some power. Uh, you can have extra entropy settings. You can change all of these. If you know what this does, only then please change it because uh, some things can cause few problems. So yeah. Uh, this is really cool. It does have a lot of options in this. You can change the preference also. You can change whatever it does. It has Tasker edition. If you ha if you ca uh, can use Tasker like I do, you can do a whole bevy of things if you just know how to do them. So that is really cool. Now something else with this ROM is the camera. Now the camera does work fully. It does it does work fully well. Uh, it doesn't need any problems. It doesn't force close in um focus. I'll just change that. Okay, it doesn't force close in the um, in the event of touch to focus, so that is something really cool. I'll just change that. So yeah, that does work out. The carrier also works out. The real data works. So this is probably one of those ROMs which you can probably use as a daily driver, like uh, some of the other ROMs, like uh, Resurrection Remix, for example, is something you can use as a daily ROM, uh, and uh, maybe Liquid Smooth also. So this is really cool in that regard. So yeah, let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool. So here is the boot animation for Nameless ROM as the name of the ROM suggests, well actually not suggest, it doesn't have a name, so yeah, it is pretty cool. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, so let me show you guys the enter the benchmark score which is pretty good. Uh, well. Lollipop is now getting up to the after um, the 25,000 ranges, so this is also no exception. Uh, it has about 25,640, so that is pretty good uh, for a lollipop ROM at least. So yeah, I think it will be getting better in the coming days, so I am hoping for that. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the ROM. Uh, it is a simple ROM, which you can probably use as a daily driver because, well, it is stable enough. It doesn't really crash on you a lot of time. The data works. Uh, everything which should work works. So yeah, I guess that much is it about the world. Hope you guys like the video. Please share, subscribe, and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.